Today I'm going to show you how to set timing on a uh, Polaris Sportsman 850cc engine. Okay, so once you assemble the engine and you're ready to install your timing chain, timing, and do your timing, there's uh, this dowel here. It has to be, you spin this camshaft so your dowel is pointing at 10 degrees or 10 o'clock, I mean. Then, after that, you have to set your, see I have TDC on my crank, on my cam, um, flywheel here, and that TDC has to line up with the case. If you have a smaller flywheel, your line is gonna be somewhere up here and you have to look through the hole where your uh, crankshaft position sensor goes. On mine, it's here, so I line up that up. Then you have to spin your camshaft so your dowel is facing straight up. But as soon as you let it go, it kind of tends to want to jump either back or forth. So you have to hold it with something, either a really fine, uh, thin wrench or I came up with this tool. I had a piece of uh, steel laying around. So I stick it in there and it holds it in place so it doesn't go back and forth. Then I put my chain on and this line here and that line there has to line up with the case. And I usually have this side of the chain tightened up and have it loose on this side so you have, because then you're gonna have to put your tensioner in. A lot of times when you put the tensioner in, the, the, cam, the crank wants to spin. So you have to hold the crank and then put the tensioner in. And then uh, if you didn't loosen your uh, valves, your valve clearances, whatever, then um, spin a couple times and see, make sure none of the valves hit. Um, and then, you can line it up again, make sure your two lines are there. If everything seems fine or everything lines up, then once those two lines are there, you can set lashes on the, on the on number one cylinder. So you have a zero lash by according to the manual, zero lash. Then you want to spin the engine 270 degrees. So now you have one line here and the other line is here. Then you can set lash on the second piston door. And it's also zero clearance for intake and exhaust. And that's how you time your 850 engine. And I believe it's exactly the same for the 1000.